the area that we're going into is one of the craziest, most active areas here. Oh my! This is going to be an insane investigation. Like I said, a lot of shadows have been seen here, right where you're standing. I would go crazy sitting here by myself. They can't physically attack you. This is such a small space. There's something walking up there. Oh! I didn't like that! I, I don't know if I can do this. Dog. Oh, three! Bro, oh, there is some. Some. You know, there's people talking. 18 minutes! I know, it's actually a lot of time. That's so long! I'll be all the way there and split it up right now. Is there anybody here with me? Who's that the red one? This is the room. We're going all the way back there. I'm gonna set this up. If there is anyone in this room with us, can you please cross the room? Are you kidding me? Holy sh! It's right there. What is it? Holy! Oh my God! I just saw something happen. Oh, get that. Oh! Holy shit! Holy shit! Did you just fucking see that? There's no. Everyone and welcome back to the TFIL 25 week overnight abandoned haunted exploration tour thing that we're doing uh, We're on a road trip into like the, the central of the United States. We're in Ohio right now And this is the infamous Ohio State Reformatory Shawshank, baby. So excited to be here. This <laughs> yeah. place is around 250,000 square feet 250,000 square feet on 40 acres it has a six-story prison block that is essentially like the world's largest freestanding steel metal prison block. Oh, yeah, yeah. The hauntings and ghost stories and spirits that are apparently here are just overwhelming. And there are so many areas to explore. This place is massive. People get lost here. Yeah. Maybe. Automatically, someone's getting blindfolded. We're just gonna dump you in a certain exactly. area. Exactly. <laughs> hey, really? so. yeah, that sucks for yeah. Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon, <laughs> said, no. Brandon said he has a really good memory. He never gets lost. He I don't. I really that. don't get lost. Well, but then we're gonna prove that. Yeah. So we're gonna prove that. We're gonna blindfold you, spin you around, and just throw you somewhere randomly in the building. Oh, you're all gonna pick me up and just toss me down. No, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna lock you. <laughs> exactly. We'll put you in a cell. So there are so many solitary confinements that are here. There's a lot of place was shut down for basically inhumane treatment yeah. so if that's any indication of kind of the things that happened here I mean the prisoners want a lawsuit yeah so and we could be way more inhumane than they were we I can yeah 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 you, yeah, you can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be meeting up with a guy who's gonna give us like a 30 minute kind of abbreviated okay. fast-paced tour historical and paranormal what? Okay. So he, he's the lead historian and paranormal investigator here. Sweet. So what? he's gonna kind of lead us to all the hot spots, um, and we're gonna check it out, learn a lot about this Jeez. place. Yeah. And yeah. It has a super dark history. Yeah. Really I'm, dark I'm so history. Excited. I've never seen a place like with you guys that had so much torture that was done to people. Yeah, I heard like, the torture devices. Like the torture that they did here is crazy. We'll get I don't want to get into it. We'll yet. get, we'll get into yeah, it yeah, yeah. in each location that things happen. We'll start diving into the details, but. Strange that we actually all know a lot about this place for yeah. once. Yeah. <laughs> We're so smart. Yeah. So, yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's get inside. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Enjoy the video, everyone. No, no, no. Corey, I don't have gloves either. You grew up in Connecticut. So? I'm used to it being 120 degrees. I grew up in Florida. It snows every day. Oh. <laughs> now, stop it, Evan. I like you. What Evan is a menace. You've been yeah, hanging out with Elton what? too long. <laughs> that was a weird You like Evan? Stop it. I like you. <laughs> I don't want him to affect our relationship, you know? I don't want him to do something stupid he'll regret. Oh! 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 Who did you hit? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> Here we go! Yay! Why do you keep throwing snowballs at my ass? <laughs> We're ghost hunters. Ah! Get out there! Oh, oh, I got it! <laughs> 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 Nelson, right here. I won't move. I'm hungry. Wait, you won't move? I'm hungry. You promise you won't move? Yes. Okay. Oh! oh right, okay. No. He said he wouldn't move. You me. I think this one's too mean. I picked this one up off the ground. It's solid. That one, that one might have hurt. That one was fine. 
<laughs> that, that was a rock. <laughs> we have the whole 250 down square feet. We're like, no, let's do snowball. Right we got this bench though, you know? All right, Hi. what do you got? My name is Port Reinhardt. Welcome to Tijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's such higher hopes. <laughs> you bitch! He's hiding in the tree. Oh, so he's behind the tree, huh? Fuck! Hey, stop! Oh, oh yeah! expert of historical and paranormal, right? Oh, yeah. That, 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 that body language was not very common. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about expert, but it's like, <laughs> you know, there are no experts, right? In, any type of the, In the paranormal field, there's no experts. Got it. So you know more than us about this place. Yeah, 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 I do. About part four, he probably knows more than us. Uh, he might, I don't know. Uh, can you backflip? Can, you, what? can you backflip? Can I backflip? Yeah. Yeah. I can't even do a somersault. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then I might. I might. I might. We're excited to, to learn from, from you about this place. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Lead the way. We'll follow. All right. Hey, well, you know what? We're going to go up to the third floor. We're going to start up there. One of my favorite spots here in the prison. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. go. Yep. <laughs> I like to see that. I lost everything. All right, everyone, before we get into this weird contraption organization of an investigation that we're doing, I just want to remind you all that Corey and I are doing a contest. We'll be flying out to your hometowns and bringing you to an investigation, a haunted location, a fun spot, whatever it is that you guys want to do for a night, we're going to make that happen. There's two yeah. ways to enter. One is super simple. Just leave a like and a comment on this video. That equals one entry. The other way is to head over to SenateSociety.com, which is our clothing line that we run. And for every dollar that you spend equals one entry. Look forward to meeting you guys and enjoy oh, yeah. this video we've never done anything like this before so look at this place dog look how big this place is bro i'm gonna say this now i'm, I'm breaking the wall but we're, we've already left so we've already done the investigation that's about to proceed this you guys aren't ready like you you guys like we're coming back to li literally like get ready for part two enjoy okay here we are this is uh third floor west admin at one time, this was assistant superintendent's living quarters. Back in, uh, when the prison was first constructed until about 1959, superintendents and assistant superintendents and their family, including the chaplain, used to live here on the property. So 
not only was it a prison, but it was also a home. Wow, wow. Jesus. I've been up here and I've seen true orbs with my eyes sitting there on the stage. Uh, we've heard disembodied voices of uh, males up here. That, that was a stage. What kind of performances? Has anyone ever like break danced or <laughs> pop or anything? I'm sure they probably did. They probably did, imagine. You wanna yeah. join that club yeah, for you? Probably should, uh... You wanna join that club yeah. up there? Yeah. <sighs> Think how clean that setup was? <laughs> <laughs> now, Elton, here's the thing though. Yeah, yeah. You know, back in the day, uh -huh. you know, I'm sure breakdancing was a huge hit. I mean, when, <clears throat> when did this place open? 1896. 1896? Yeah, so, yeah, give us some of that 19th century breakdancing. That was like a good breakdancing, I think. Okay. Yeah, I got some 19th, I got some late 18th century Oh, late 18th, so 1700s. 1794. Like right after we signed the Declaration of Independence. 102 years before this place um, opened. Late 18th would be. Yeah, exactly. Like almost the 19th. No. No. The 18th century is the 1700s. What? Yeah, you're wrong. That's how that works? Don't even argue. It doesn't make sense it, though. You know what? That that that's how the, that's, 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 that's just. just that's just. Teach tap. <laughs> I don't know if that. Alright, well, let's learn more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just learned about the I'm gonna do breakdance. my other solo. <laughs> let's not do it at. We've got another stage for you too. Oh, perfect. Oh, hey. I'll do my contemporary piece over there. <laughs> watch me the prison yard stage. Yeah. <laughs> all the cells can just watch you. I put on my leotard. All you hear is a bunch of whistling. <laughs> <laughs> the ghosts are hitting on me. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Brandon, Brandon. wait, whoa, whoa. What? 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 What did, yeah, what did you, you say? say? You understand yeah. how people get waha here? Yeah. What'd you say? What'd you, uh, you guys. I understand no. how you guys may get lost here. I think that's no. what I said. He said people. Verbatim, I, I, you could rewind it. I'm pretty sure I said you I can't. I understand how you guys can get lost. Mm -hmm. Okay. I sure. will not get lost. You won't? Okay. All cool. right. Oh, yeah. Really stacking the chips on the you opposite have side. The, uh, you have a blindfold? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we have a bean. That would... <laughs> no, I have a spur. Okay. Right here. Oh, 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 oh. Third floor. Uh, central hallway, central corridor. Uh, for me, this is like the epicenter of all the paranormal activity here on the third floor. The third floor where we're at. Is oh my God! She. <laughs> I just saw her legs up there. Oh yeah. Oh my God! That scared the shit out of me. Oh. No, it was a water. It was wife walking. Oh. But you can only see like the knees down. Oh my God! All right. All right. Right, that's where she was saying. That is her, right? Yeah, like, she's yeah. here. Watch no, it that's not, not her. <laughs> He's not even married. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is the epicenter. A lot of crazy stuff happens here. A lot of shadows are, are seen in this area. A lot of growling is heard in this area. Growling. Growling. Like yes, I, I do know of uh, volunteers who have been walking down this hall with growling and following them. I do have no volunteers who walk past this room behind me and heard a growling coming out of the room. Like I said, a lot of shadows have been seen here right where you're standing. There was a, uh, a team here, they were investigating and they saw a shadow figure standing right there. It proceeded to get down on all fours and crawl down the hallway. Oh, what? Oh boy. So would you say that the spirits here are Demonic or no. good? Uh, both. Not demonic, okay. but negative. And when I say negative, that they can't physically attack you. Uh -huh. But I have had good experiences with uh, the spirits here. Such as we get a lot of EVPs, and a lot of those EVPs are helpful. Mm. And when we get to one area, I'll play an EVP for you guys and you'll, you'll see what I mean. Okay. But we're gonna go in this room right here. Oh. Sure. <laughs> this is the chair room. This is the chair room. This is the chair room. Okay now as far as the history of this room nobody really knows what it was used for. Uh, there's some that say it was just used for storage. Others have said that this was a guard sleeping area. Guards uh, could sleep here after uh, working a midnight shift. 
The one thing that sets this room off from all the other rooms is there's no windows. It's the only room in the prison that has no windows, besides a couple of closets. I didn't notice that at first, but now that you say it, yeah. I understand. Now, some of the things that people will do in this room, they will sit in the chair with the lights off, and when the lights are off here, since there's no windows, it gets pitch black, you can't see your hand in front of your face. Sometimes people will hear voices, they'll hear the growling, or they'll be touched. Uh -huh. Now, back in March, we had a, uh, there, there was a woman who was sitting in this chair. Our other members of her team were here with her. Something touched her, and she freaked out, got out of the chair. Somebody else sat in the chair after that. They started like a little bit challenging, not, not really bad provoking, but just a little, little bit of challenging. Mm -hmm. And uh, shortly thereafter, she started feeling a burning sensation mm. on the back of her neck. I would go crazy. I would go crazy sitting here by myself. We, we call it the chair room challenge. See if you can sit in here by yourself for 15 minutes. 15? Oh, that's a lot of time. 15 minutes is a long, long time. time. <laughs> okay, I don't know why you're zooming in on me because <laughs> I sat in the bathtub by myself last night. You're the night. one sitting in the chair. They ha I'm, no, I'm getting it over with now. You guys well, do this later. I'm gonna praise you because you took a bath, Brandon. It was a Jesus. nice bath. My favorite thing about Brandon is whenever he gets uncomfortable, he like scolds the viewers because he looks at the lens and goes, I don't know why you're looking at me. <laughs> I'm always looking yeah. at Evan. Yeah, and then- When you're looking into the lens. Why, yeah, why All right, because the camera is so big, I can't see Evan's face. So I yell at, I'm not yelling at you guys. I'm yelling at Evan because the camera's too big. Evan. Actually, that's a new way to do it. Has anyone done a 50 minute challenge like that with their hands bound behind their back? That's no. a good idea. Okay. Tied behind their back. Down? Yeah, they're tied. That way they can't get out. Yeah. Two and one. Let's start in here, 15 minutes, lights off, and 15 minutes drop. Then he has to try to find us. Yes. You said you can never get lost here. You said you can never get lost here. No, no, no. I want or the other. You get to pick one or the other here. I just picked one and the other. All right, this area, uh, when the prison was first built, these were guest bedrooms. Visitors, VIPs, business people traveling to the prison. But right now, up on the third floor, this is the most active haunted area here. What percentage of this entire place do you think we've seen from what we've walked so far? Huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> what number is that? Five. Five. five percent. All right, I got five percent loaded in here. Yeah, I'm trying to remember this whole thing so that way if Elton does decide to leave me somewhere, I have it all up here. I'm gonna have you draw a picture of this place when we're done with the tour. Okay. I do want to play an audio clip yeah. for, for you guys. Absolutely. Uh, this was back in January. Me and another investigator, we were sitting on the stage there. There was nobody else here. Okay. Uh, that, it was a crazy night. Uh, my, my wife was uh, here prior, and they were hearing disembodied voices and just getting a lot of crazy stuff, right? Is she gone again? Where is she? Is she? <laughs> I don't think you're married. <laughs> 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 so, so they were having crazy stuff going on. So me and this other guy, we came over here and sat. It was quiet. It was just two of us sitting. And this is what we captured. What was that? Oh, it sounds <laughs> like something like a nail. Yeah, yeah it sounds like, like something was sitting on the wall. Maybe this is just an isolated. When you were sitting here, what? Where did you think that was coming from? Right here. Oh, really? Just here. Yeah. So you guys were sitting right there. We were the stage. sitting right there. And it sounded like you came from right like here. And at the time, it, it sounded like a bunch of light bulbs. Yeah. 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 Right yeah it sounded like something broke. So I was like, "What the f is that?" And yeah. nothing broke. And there was nothing. We searched every one of these rooms. What? We searched locked closets. Could not find anything. No way. Now, sometimes when people are down on the second floor, such as my wife, how do you, how do you describe it? Uh, when I'm down on the second floor, sometimes it sounds like there's a chain dropping on the floor. That's what I was going to say. That sounded like handcuffs yeah. or chains, chains, like shackles hitting the floor. <laughs> I've heard that on several other occasions when I'm down on the second floor. Yeah. Right below here. That's cool. That's why I like audio. Yeah. Because you pick up crazy oh stuff like that. Oh my god. That's awesome. That is insane. So would you say this part is essentially more active than the actual cell blocks? The cell box is what I always imagine this place being. Yeah. There are, well, well, 
there are, for me, there's like five areas that are extremely active. This one, the first one? The, this whole third floor, and out of this third floor, this area is the most active for me. Got it. And then All there's right, still I've, four more areas. I've had experience. I mean, I've been investigating since 91. I've never seen an apparition. Okay. And I've only seen one shadow person. Got it. That was right here. What? Coming out, coming up those stairs, took her right, walked down the hallway. These red eggs inside are going to be so creepy. Oh time. my God. And then guess what I heard after I saw that what shadow? What Growling. Ah. See, you no, know, I just don't understand. Like, this is where, you know, people came in. This is not where the prisoners were. Right. It's like, where's the negative energy? So, why is this so active? Yeah. That, that's what we've been that's trying so to figure cool. out. Yeah. Uh, or so, even think about prisoners couldn't come in this area, right? When they were locked up. It's not right, right. Area. Right. Now, when, when this was built, it was built as an intermediate prison for yeah. first time nonviolent young offenders. Mm -hmm. And uh, back then, they used to only spend eight hours a night in their cells. Mm -hmm. The other 20, uh, 16, I'm sorry, were going to school, going to church, and learning a trade. So, and they had trustees that would take care of the, you know, like I said, there were children that lived here. Mm -hmm. And they would take care of the kids and maybe drive them to school and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it slowly turned, and by the early 70s, it was a full-blown maximum security prison where inmates would spend maybe 23 hours a day in their cells. Wow. Once we go through this door up here, we're leaving the administration portion of the prison and heading into the actual prison. Okay. Oh my god. Corey, I think you need a confession. This isn't even the coolest part. <sighs> yeah. This is cool. I don't want to this talk is about it. This is so rad. All right, who knows the Halo theme song? Oh. For me, wow. this is one of the calmest area, areas in the prison. Oh, For really? Me. Yeah. Now, I do know other investigators and volunteers who do get a lot of activity up here. Uh, I've known some that have said they have seen an apparition of a woman in a green dress. I like to come up here and just sit. For me, it's peaceful. Yeah. It's peaceful and quiet. Wow. Unlike the next area we're going to. The area that we're going yeah. into is one of the craziest, most active areas here. Okay, so that means that the chair room is not the worst of the worst, no. which I already got dibs on that one. No, you said you didn't want it though. Remember you said yeah. and or. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Do you remember when you said you didn't want to do that room? Well, it's because we, you knew. You knew you were just holding out for this one. No, but like, I See, feel like, look how smart. If it's a six out of five, I feel like one of these two lovely gentlemen. How did you know about this room already? That's, I wanted to do I'm this so room. I'm so proud of you. We all wanted to do this room, but now you get to, Brandon. Oh, shit. Watch your step. Sounds of bitches. There's a step. Elton. Oh, my God. The more oh. I hear my name, the more excited I get. Okay. This is crazy. Oh. Look at this. This is not. Oh, this is the coolest place we've ever been. 100%. This is, the, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And I'm going to turn on the lights so you guys can. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, we can just leave the lights yeah, on everywhere we go. That's. Oh! oh! It did one of those flickering! This is an attic. <laughs> this is the attic. This is the most active area here. Wow. And people would wonder why is this the most active Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. well, they used to house inmates up here. They would wow. house people here? Back in 1930, on the Easter, there was a major fire at the Ohio Penitentiary down in Columbus. Some 322 inmates perished. Uh, they had to find other prisons within the system to put up the other inmates. Um, and some 200 of them came here. And they just had cots, and this is where they stayed. Now, back in 1930, this was still a intermediate prison for young, first-time nonviolent offenders. Yeah. The inmates that are coming here from the uh, penitentiary are huh. your felons, your murderers, your rapists, the worst of the worst. Jesus. And as you see, there's no cells. Yeah. So guards used to just lock the door and inmates used to run this area. Whatever happens, happens. So needless to say, you can imagine what went on up here. Did people kill people here? Oh yeah. <laughs> I like the way you just nodded, just like, <laughs> yeah. So this is one of the areas that you have to be really careful. I've got a couple photos to show you. Yeah. Of people who've been attacked up here. She one probably deserved uh -huh. it, the other one didn't. What did he do to yeah, deserve it? Yeah, what did he deserve? All the things you've okay. spoken. Hey, what does that mean? Challenging them, mm. you know, okay. calling them out. Yeah. 
They're gonna like this guy. How bad was the attack? Was it like hospitalization? Oh, well, yeah, I'll show you. Like just like a rough night with a one night stand? He's already provoking. You've had enough of this. Oh! He felt oh. a burning sensation oh. on him. That's, that's like a, that's a nice I've little seen. X. That's an X marks the that's spot. That's actually blood too. Yeah. That's an actual, wow. Oh. All right. Stop with me throwing at you. Uh, you'll hear footsteps. Turn off the lights. Oh my god. Again, who are you talking to? <laughs> There's no what people do, we have chairs set up down there, those have been set up right there. Oh, no. Wow! Oh, no. Sometimes oh, wow. you will see... Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Sometimes you'll see balls of light coming at you. And it could be anything from like a, a pinpoint size ball of light to like somebody carrying a flashlight, you know, like walking with a flashlight. When you turn your flashlight on, there's nothing there, but the light is still coming at you. What? And I've even seen uh, what looks like a shooting star from flying in here. It had a tail, bright, everything. Shadow light? So seen up here, um, you'll feel something around you. Sometimes you'll get touched inappropriately, especially women. Oh. Um, a lot, lot of crazy stuff happens up here. This is where me and another investigator were doing a Facebook Live event. We were sitting down there, and we heard a man yell down at the end of the dog. The, that's the, the only way out, right? That's the only way out. We were the only ones here. Okay. We were the only ones here. And, I mean, the, the hair on the back of my neck stood up when I heard that, because it was so freaking loud. This is going to be an insane investigation. Yeah. So, Kari, I just want to let you know that this is where they did the dousing rod session, uh, me and a couple of other ladies. And one of the things they, thought they found out through the dousing rod session is that the reason why the guys are getting more active with scratching people and um, hurting them is because um, they feel like they're being put on show. Uh -huh. And the, the bigger thing is they feel as if they're not being respected. <laughs> yeah, I like how you pan right over to this guy. So you with the rods and me with me? No. <laughs> if, if I do the rods in here, bro, you cannot like can't what? antagonize. Yes. You sure? Yes, please. So. Oh Don't. my god! That is one of the craziest things I've ever Dude, seen. Dude, that's in my life. incredible. That, Evan, have you seen this yet? No, you're all Evan, right look, there. look, come over here. Look, come over come here. here. Come here. This is insane. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody had to have fallen off of it. Yeah, real question. How many people have jumped from this? Jumped? Well, I can tell you that there have been uh, inmates that went over. Yeah. Um, Suicides and, you know, being bites thrown. And bites. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a number on that. Is, is, I mean, but yeah, I do know there were a lot of suicides here in the... In the this oh, is insane. A great year. And that was after... Wow! Oh, this is it's like a trampoline. This is the coolest place we've ever been. 100 percent, literally, and the biggest. I'm excited. There's about 600 cells on this side, about 50 down each range that held about. Uh, 1,200 inmates over here. Wow. That, that was uh, with two inmates to a cell. Sometimes oh. there were three inmates to a cell. Three. Now, back in August, my wife, Kathy, was uh, leading a ghost walk. That's a guided tour at night where you talk about ghost stories. Mm -hmm. uh, she had 10 people in her group. They left the chapel, and sh she's uh, coming down here. Everybody's got to follow a single line. Now she is going down to the fourth tier. So everybody follows the person in front of them, except six people. And they followed this guy this way. And the guy walked right through that gate. And the pusher behind them was yelling, not really yelling at them, but it's like, hey, you guys are going the wrong way. You guys are going the wrong way. And they're like, no, we're following this guy. And when he got here, they were like, where did he go? Where did he go? And out of the six of them, they were from all from different families, and they all described the guy the same. He had a black shirt on, white messy hair with no mask, and he walked through that uh, door right there and disappeared. What? This is really recent. August. August. Yeah. August. Oh my gosh. The is locked. Yeah, it's locked. That's locked. Can you yeah, walk through it? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> 
Elton tried his best. Mm. Oh, look at this cell. A lot, a lot of suicides in these cells, a lot of hangings. But one of the grisliest suicides occurred down here in cell number 13. 1960, a 22-year-old inmate by the name of James Lockhart was denied parole. He took some lighter fluid, went into a cell, oh. set himself on fire. Wow. Oh my God. So. And number 13, cell number 13. Oh, yeah, yeah. The most unlucky one. Oh boy, this is worse than all the others. Could you? Oh, no. On February 6, 1960, he took his own life by setting himself on fire in this cell with a light, with lighter fluid and a match. He was 22. How do you get lighter fluid? Commissary. You could just get lighter fluid? Oh, yeah. Dude, imagine. Wait, so someone hung himself in here? No, he burned himself himself in here. Where, are, where were you during the twice that we just went over that? <laughs> I didn't know it was this one. I thought you were saying all the cells, there was different deaths. Oh yeah, no, this one. Got what? really bad uh, vertigo in here. Like it feels like, uh, like I'm on a boat. Like my feet feel like that. Yeah. You feel that too? I just feel like, like more like claustrophobia. Like it's, I feel this. Oh yeah? Yeah. Three people living in one of those, these things. It'd be so hard. How do you, I mean, one, one of us would have to sleep, you know, with another dude. Dibs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the huge. Uh, this used to be part of the second hospital. This would, would have been the infirmary. This is where the inmates would have had beds. And this is, you know, if they had surgery or if they were ill, they, they would be put up here. In that room right there, uh, it's called what's called the death room. Uh -huh. You go in there to the right, when an inmate would die, uh, that's where they would put the body until a family member or coroner would come, come and claim them. The death room. Jesus. The death room. The uh, death room. After, uh, in 1951, when they built the third and final hospital, they turned this into the library. Found an old phone book. And she says, what is this? Another investigator comes up and says, looks like an old phone book. But there was an EVP right after she says, what is this? So see if you can make out what it's saying. So right after she says, what is this? Library. What? Wow. 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 This is that's right after she says it. Yeah. Put it again. That was super. Wait high. a second. Wait a second. And that was nobody said there was that. Just two of them. It is her. <laughs> you hear her <laughs> saying, What is this? And then the other guy comes up and says, Looks like a phone book. That was. Okay, wow. that's so clear. You can hear him more clear than the actual lady. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. We should have laid it real. That was insane. So let's uh, head down all the way down. Uh, we'll head down to the solitary. Uh, there have been escapes from here. Uh, a lot of them have been captured, you know, almost immediately, but some are still on the run. What? And wow. that uh, was back in 1990. Do you think any of the people that have escaped have come back here on the tour? Oh my we, God. We do get uh, uh, former inmates here. Really? Yes. What? In fact, we have uh, one of uh, our staff members used to be an inmate here. And what? He does a tour now, an no. inmate tour. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's awesome. That is incredible. All right, this is solitary confinement. Basically a prison within a prison. Yeah. Now these ones with the solid doors were put here in the 70s when it was maximum security. Okay. Uh, through that door right there were the uh, kind of like original ones. Uh, but the real original solitary was down below us in the sub-basement. Oh. So this is, this is called the hole, but then what is that one? That's the sub basement, and that was the original home. You think which one do you think is worse? Probably the one downstairs. Yeah. When they used to put you in these cells, they would shut the door and they could put you in perpetual light or darkness. Huh. So let's say you got seven days in the hole. Yeah. They could shut that door and put you in seven days of uh, darkness. Darkness. And this little window is the only thing you get. And you are not allowed to talk. You would wow. get bread and water for the first couple of meals. And Crazy. Oh my God. Now, there were never any executions here in the prison, even when it was maximum security, but there were a lot of deaths here. There were, I mean, almost 300 deaths, uh, a lot of suicides, okay. <laughs> and a lot, uh, a lot of murders too. 
A lot of murders? Yeah. Inmate on inmate, inmate on guard, and guard on inmate. Back in 1932, there was a guard by the name of Frank Hanger. That was before these metal doors uh, cells got here. And I believe it was over on the other side. He was making his rounds into the, that uh, solitary. One of the inmates in there had escaped from his cell. Oh. And he had a six, uh, maybe it was a three or four foot iron pipe. Oh. And when Frank came in, uh, this inmate was hiding on top of a uh, cabinet. And when Frank came in, whacked him over the head. Frank went down, whacked him over the head again, took his keys, and uh, released all the other inmates. All of them? They, they didn't get far because another inmate uh, you know, yeah. no, notified the other guards. So they, they didn't get far, but Frank died. So there's a snitch. Were executed uh, the next year. Oh was, my God. Wow. But anyways, there were two inmates in that cell. A guard was making his rounds, only found one inmate. And when they went to check, the other inmate's body was stuffed underneath the bunk. Now, you get a lot of EVPs here. You get people actually capture shadow figures and photographs. You'll hear heavy footsteps walking. And we attribute that to Frank because guards wore heavy boots. Inmates yeah. wore soft-soled shoes. The original hole was a hole in the ground. Oh. oh. oh so it was actually underneath. Yeah. Oh, wow. So what they would do, they would put you down into the hole. You would climb down in there, and they would close the top. Huh. And then it was time for you to come out, they would open you to come back out. But the story goes is that there were two inmates down there and there was a heavy rain. And they forgot about them and the two inmates drowned. So then they filled in the hole. Ah, uh, jeez. Now crazy stuff happens down here too. And on your scale of one to five, what is this? Uh, this would probably be, for me, a lot like a four. A four. Hmm. I believe some of the investigators have been all the way in this back room and they've actually seen an apparition that has come into the room oh. that has actually blocked That's the right. entrance way uh. so they can't get out and it's been very intimidating. What? It makes them feel uncomfortable because they can't get out. Oh my god. I'm good on that one. Yeah. It's their only, yeah, because it's their, their only way out. <laughs> I, I like to have ways out. I, I prefer to be able to get out of places. No ghosts in Hellhole. It's just... Just me, well, Elton, he's, you saw he was in there. Oh, Elton's the scariest thing I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was having fun. What, I can't have fun and just be myself? That's you yeah. having fun? Yeah, that just letting fun. loose. Can we cut real quick to like a clip of you with your face all oh purple from like going crazy? <laughs> it's like it an old fun. miner. <laughs> <Can> you... <laughs> Welcome to my house, Corbin. All right, well. So are you guys ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so Greg has left us. Yeah. Um, Free to roam with all the knowledge we need of all of the key five locations. So, uh, what are we thinking? Hmm? All I what know is thinking? that in the dark, I can't see anything. <laughs> well, so I think, I think maybe there's a little bit of a plan. What do you say? What's wrong? Hmm? What's yes. up? What? I don't know. What's up? That was really weird. What happened? I was. Okay, I don't, I don't, I really don't mean to interrupt, but we, you know, we're walking and I'm just looking right here. Yeah. And then right here was like a rope hanging and I literally went like that to dodge it. And as I go like that, it's not there. There's nothing there. Literally right here, there is a rope hanging and I'm just like, and then I was like, wait a second, there's nothing fucking there. Uh, Keep going. Okay, Elsa. yeah, this is a great start on this one, I guess. Well, what I was saying was, I think without any doubt, we have all of the investigative tools. Yeah. I have an idea for a different form of investigation tonight because <laughs> we have limited time here. What's your idea? I'm saying we should all go into different rooms <laughs> and Mr. Arrogant over here, whoa, whoa. basically, <laughs> what are you talking Mr. About? Arrogant over here will be, in, will be in the chair room. He'll be in the chair room. Oh, the pitch black room? But what will happen is you will be in a different room by yourself. <laughs> what? And you don't get to leave until Mr. Arrogant can find you. Why? Wait, wait, and I'm not then, arrogant. And then though. the two of you will then have to come to Corey, and Corey and I cannot leave our room. Oh, so you guys get to pair up. Mm hmm. Wait, where is he? But gonna be? Also, I get to instigate. <laughs> Did no one hear the. What are you talking about? Did you just not hear that? As we were talking. As you started explaining all that, there was a. As in like a, can I get a clap please? Whoa. 
What? You didn't hear that? The record, they left. Or like, they didn't leave, but they're way in the front office. So they're, yeah. They're not in here anymore. But everybody knows that, that that game, you go like this, you clap, clap. Yeah. And you go, we didn't even talk about that. Did you just hear that, are though? We gonna, we, are we going to do that? Is that a sign? Is that a sign? I do we... not want to be blindfolded and play the clap game in here. Else. So everything you just said to me means yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Let's flick the first round. It's the whole bottom board. Are you, the whole bottom board? Yeah. Are you being serious? <laughs> Dude, this place is way too big. Oh my god, we're doing it. No, we're 100% doing it. We're 100% doing it. Oh, we can do the god. bottom floor. We can do the death room area. We can do the church. We can do the third floor. And we can do the basement. The church is going to be And the attic. Let's go. Cool. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Yeah? That's our next video. Let's make uh, up the next video. Let's give you the next video. Uh, That's the next video. Okay, here we go. And... All right, go cow. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're gonna, I'm going to go in there and you're going to close the door door behind me and I'll be stuck in there forever. There's no right, doors. Well, I think we have a game plan because I don't like uploading two hour long videos. So let's yeah. do that. Next video, let's do an extreme game of hide and clap. We'll do, we'll do a group investigation. Okay. And then the next one, we'll do this master plan of three different simultaneous investigations with Brandon having to go from himself to Corbin and then the two of you to Corey and I. I don't know if I could be in like a room. But it sounds stuff, great so. on paper maybe. I mean, it also sounds great in my head. Yeah, but you're you got to mess up heads. It still actually sounds great out loud. It probably and it probably great sounds great video. to the viewers. I think yeah. it sounds great. It sounds great to Evan. It sounds great to Evan. Yeah, <laughs> so, I mean, you mean the one guy with the light all the time. <laughs> I think the only way he communicates is like hand yeah. signals. <laughs> I'm just waiting till we see that in front of the camera. <laughs> Evan's gonna learn sign language. You just lift up the viewers. <laughs> Evan's actually saying help me to our viewers. <laughs> he's like, it's a like, sign. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching part one. Hopefully you learned a lot. We learned a lot. We're oh. excited to be God. here. I enjoy making our videos in these three sections, or two sections, whatever ends up being, but it's cool. So get ready for this part is two. The biggest, most scary place we've yes. been. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm so excited to be here. You guys have no idea. Oh. So this is up there with Alcatraz. Oh, this is. Oh, 100%. I didn't even hear a word any of you guys said. I, I literally. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you were so we were talking, I literally saw something up here. And no, you didn't. I swear, and I haven't. I did not pay attention. I don't even know what you guys just talked about. Can you just kill the light for one second? Oh, my oh, God. Uh, what did you see? Oh, you can see a little bit of the red, though. Uh, what did you see? Uh, this is wonderful. It was at the corner of my eyes. Something moved, and it looked like it was the fourth or fifth floor up, like right by the bars. Who's up there? And I literally didn't hear anything you three were talking about the whole time and realized that I was like out of that oh, conversation. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait. Who's up there? We'll find out later. All right, on to the next one. <laughs> like on a footstep, one. dude. Um, we're standing actually right now inside what is the world's largest freestanding prison block. Somebody Six stories burnt yeah. themselves alive. Someone lit themselves on fire right here. Many people have hung themselves. I think about it's about seven, 1,300 different cells oh, actually in God. here. Yeah. yeah. Um, and number 13, that's the one that the guy lit himself on fire in. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, last video we got a huge tour, a lot of history, a lot of the paranormal things that have happened here. It's in our fashion, we have to do this. So yeah. it's just fun, the viewers enjoy, we're playing hide and clap. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so we're on. starting, by the way, we're starting in oh, the least starting. haunted location, because technically, remember during the tour, he never said this was really bad. The, but, okay, so the whole place is haunted. The whole place is haunted. There's Wait a second. Haunted. There's hot spots. Wait a second. Yes. There was also the dude that walked through that door. That's true, yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. the guy that walked a guy through walked the through a door. Yeah, so. You know, we're gonna start and we're gonna do different rounds and we'll figure it out and we are at the very end of this video gonna do a group investigation in a room Yep, and then the third video is going to be a very Elaborate intense probably the most thorough and in-depth investigation we've done of this entire building. Oh my god So round one Corey volunteered you want to get out of the way? We have a new little uh, hands-free GoPro rig, so now you won't walk into any rakes. Yeah. Is that what that's for? So he doesn't walk into a rake. Well, now he now he has two hands. <laughs> so now I can. Perfect. Yeah. I can prevent myself from a blackout. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. All right. All right. Well, let's get cool. started. All right. Where's the boundaries here? Uh, exit sign to exit sign. Okay. Wow. So so that one. Forty. Down. Just first floor. So around forty cells, thirty-five cells. All the way through here, everything is in bounds. Who do I know? <laughs> we're, we're Evan, 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 Evan will go too far or... Yeah. Okay, um, now I promise you, Will Evan. Can't go through the chains? All right, so uh, five minutes on the clock. If you don't find everyone, you spend uh, 10 minutes by yourself in the sub-basement. Oh my god. 
No. Cool, no. I just made that rule. It's in effect now. That's no, how the channel works. Cold. Welcome to TFIL. Why? <laughs> I don't like that. And right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna run. So, <laughs> so if I'm about to run into a pole, let me know, Evan. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Go hide. All right, everyone, walk really loud. It sounds like. So uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Fifteen seconds. Dude, it sounds like literally it's like up there, like footsteps. 10, 9, 8, 5 minutes on the clock. I go? Yep. All right, boys. Whoa, did you guys hear that? I heard like a, but it was from behind me. There it is again. All right, first clock. Okay, I'm actually scared because what if there's no one in here? Give me a clap. Someone is not clapping. What the f I'm out. I'm out. I don't care about you. You wasted all my fing claps. Oh, there's the clap. Oh, there's the clap. 30 seconds. Wait, clap again. Ten, nine, All right, eight, Michael, give me a hug. seven, six, five, what the f was four. That? Time's up. What? How did I not touch you? <laughs> Please tell me how I didn't touch you. Can you tell me? I was right here the whole time. How? I have it on camera. How did? Was he moving? No. Was he moving, Evan? No. Evan, was he rolling? Sorry. I wanted you to touch me. I was trying to touch you, and you wouldn't let me. <laughs> Did you put your hand on the top bunk? Yeah. No, I was sitting up here the whole time. I was touching the top bunk the whole time. No, I was literally right here the whole time. You no. walked right past Corbin. You went right here, and you walked like this. You had hands like this. <laughs> <laughs> and you walked right past Someone going to the basement. Someone going to the basement. That sucks. Who's going to the basement? Wow, you. <laughs> That's Who's you? All right, round two, Corbin. I found you. Yep. We're in the chapel. Uh, it's the entire room. Ah, ah. Okay. I, I, okay. 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 I saw the room for like a second. All right, thirty seconds. Go. I saw the room for. A... I saw the room for a freaking second. Five, four. Three, two, one, go ahead. Are the cops here? Dude, I didn't do anything. I haven't even done anything yet. Is that somebody? All right, first clap. Nobody clapped over here, and I know there's somebody over here. This person needs a clap because that was some sissy stuff. Thank you. Wait, what happened to the chair? Oh, God. That was a straight nut shot. It's a beautiful voice. Why won't you come find me? 
such a beautiful voice. Come on, let's go, bitch. Wait, what the? Is she freaking levitating? I do parkour. Oh, that's why! That's why! <laughs> I was wondering it wouldn't be on like the priest list. Alright, got one. Alright, alright, alright. No sissy stuff. Be real men. Second clap. Oh my god, I feel something. <laughs> yes, sir! That's what I'm talking about. It pays off to have a blind brother sometimes. Two minutes. Alright, uh... Wait, wait. Alright, this one needs to be loud. Last clap. Oh my god. Is there somebody on the... Oh my, am I gonna fall? I wouldn't climb over that. You wouldn't climb over it? Is there anybody on the stage? Can I, do I have to climb up? Is that? Tell me if I'm gonna. Oh, oh my! I was about to catch you, buddy. Five, not gonna run. four, three. I, I can't run on this. Two, one. Time is up, you have. <laughs> Dude, that was actually. I actually like almost fell on that. Eight my Asia mom. Too many P A C mom. Huh? Corbin. Eh? Brandy. Uh -huh. 18? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ice 9? Man. You just on, let that wrestle. happen. Come on, wrestle me. Wrestle me. Wrestle. Wrestle me. If I win, I get to instigate when you're in the same room as me. Right, ready? Grab, grab that table. Grab that table. Three, two, one. Ooh! Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. You're helping me out, right? No. You're gonna tell me where they're at? Absolutely not. Just three, two, mm. one. Good luck. I'm gonna go quick. Except I don't want to get hurt, so maybe not. First clap. Wow! Second clap. Oh, somebody is there. What? Evan, is this safe? No. What? I'm out. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't do it. What? There's something walking up there. I'm sorry. What? Where? So I thought I knew where I was in this room, and now I don't. Half time. Oh, damn it. Corey, I think you're right. What? 
Can I quit? No. I don't want to be blindfolded for this. No. Can you hear it too, Elton? I don't want to do this. Stuff walking, and Back I, I, I couldn't do it. No, we gonna lie to in like the cells, bro. Oh, were you up on that? I didn't want yes. to say it because I uh, wanted to see if you could do it or not. But I'm pretty sure someone walked in the room with us. What? What? Get a light. Get a light. Get a light. Wait, can you see? Being 100 percent serious. Like what that do you room mean? or this room? I was trying to not get caught, and then as I looked left, I like. Okay, where's the? Can someone get a light on? Hello. Dude, because right after you freaked out, it sounded like there was like someone like whispering up there. Because that was the first thing I checked. Because I could actually Stop. open that and go back there. That Dude. gate will open. I don't even. That's, that's like, why I stopped. That's like an attic, attic. So that's what happened to me. So I'm standing up there and I heard like a scuff, and I was like, "Okay, Corey, be brave." And then I heard whispers. I that's like, right. All right. It might have been them. Dude. And then I heard walking in there. In there. In there. That's where I was what, standing. What is in there? That's that like the attic to the attic. What? It's legit, like there's like little cages and then you go back there and then it's another attic inside the attic. Alright, then I don't want to just stand inside here, like we should get a light on or something. I know, I can't. Yeah, who has a flashlight? Evan has a flashlight. I was trying to figure out if somehow one of you guys made a shadow that created that, but there's no way your shadow would go all the way past the beam. There's no way. Alright, well I don't want to get out through here in the dark. Can someone put a flashlight on or something? Because you actually think somebody's in here. I don't think someone, I think something. Okay, well thank you, Elton. <laughs> thank you, Elton. What? Did you Dude, hear the walking in there too? Oh no, I heard whispering. 30 seconds! Am I going all the way down here? All the way down. 15 seconds. I'm ready to find you, boys. Alright. Five minutes. Go. Boy. Boys. Can I get a clap? Less than three people. Interesting that the claps came from the right side. Can I get a clap? I said, can I get a clap? How the f did you get behind me? Two people over here didn't clap. This is cheating. So say this right now. Someone's cheating. Why didn't I get a clap over here, boys? How did someone get behind me? Can I get a clap? There is no f***ing way I walked past you. Who didn't clap right here? No, someone's in front of me. Okay, you're gonna make me go after you guys now, huh? This is full of ah! I stopped my GoPro. You've made me angry. Hmm. I think I've used all my claps. Okay, all right, so you didn't clap when I asked you to clap, and now you want to clap when I've left you because you're afraid you're gonna get caught. This is really hard. I don't know if anyone knew that or not. Are you kidding me? 
don't you open the cell? Oh, you close the door. You close the door, huh? Hey, oh. oh. Oh, you mother. Okay, all right. Oh, no! <laughs> Hello? Is anyone in there? I don't like this game anymore. Why do I turn into Ace Ventura when I do this? Somebody stop me. Why? Why what? Who said why? I was just pretending no one else was in here. Who the f said why? Oh! I didn't like that! Someone's moving. It's me. Oh, there's someone else here. Better be fucking Brandon. I'm walking behind him. I hate you both. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! You mother fluff. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh! Oh, did you go in there? No, I mean, it's you made you slap around the corner. <laughs> what? Dude, you don't know how scary it was. <laughs> you had an amazing spot. Uh, Thank you. So one of you did clap every time I asked. No. I did. No, no, no. I have so, okay, so you literally came up, but I was directly across yeah, from- No, 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 I was directly across from Corey, and you came right in between both of us. You were like two inches away from both of us, and you were like, can I get my second clap? And I'm just like... She's gonna get both of us immediately! I knew it! I knew he didn't clap, you cheater! Then I gave you like ten claps after that, though. And who you got did, me. Who did that stomp? Because that stomp scared me. It was like over here, that went... I didn't stomp. Who stopped? <laughs> That you? you. Oh. Bro, that got me. I know. You were like, oh! Yeah, that scared the hell out of me. That was the first time I've heard you scare. You wanna know what's, what's crazy though? Street. What? This was hard not to say nothing, but this really freaks me out. Why? So I'm, you know, I'm behind the door. And yeah, I'm let's, like, let's go to the room. And I'm see. watching you through the peak hole, bro. Oh, yeah. There's a peak one? No, so you know this little crack right here? Yeah, yeah. And I can see you, Elton, because you got the little blue light in front of you with the GoPro. And you're walking closer and closer towards me. And then all of a sudden, you know, Evan's in front of you, and Evan's blocking my complete view of you, and I can't see you at all. And then Evan, you know, walks past this way, and then you keep walking towards me, and then Evan's behind you. And I swear to God, bro, it was Evan like this. I'm watching this in front of you, and then it completely blocks my view, and I can't see you at all, and I'm like, oh, Evan's standing right here. Keeps coming, here you come, and then Evan's behind you, dog. I literally sat there, and I was like, what? I, Wait, from where I was, I couldn't see what? anything, and I'm glad that I could. Yeah, seriously. You know how dude. weird that is, bro. We got two. I got two. He got three. Zero. I, um, Wait, what? No, he didn't get three. Corey quit. Yeah, so yeah, Corey he got, quit. He got two. No, I got three. Okay, so you no, got, you got two. two. You got only got two. You no, got two. And then there's four. just. Did Corey get everyone? Yeah. I got nobody. He got nobody. Oh. Yes. <laughs> So there's an automatic. Okay. Yeah. So, what, what is so let's that? let's do this way. Let's let's flip it around then. What? Let's have you hide by yourself. No. And the three of us have to try <laughs> and find <laughs> you. That's okay. Anywhere it's in okay. the anywhere in the penitentiary. In the Go find. Anywhere it. in the sub basement. No. <laughs> anywhere in the sub basement. You hide by yourself. Yeah. And you can pick we'll, anywhere. All three of us will work together to find you. Yeah. In this jail. He's just I, gonna be like. <laughs> I am going to let you find me instantly. No, it's okay. He's gonna let's go to the sub basement. I think that's where we, we should we should uh, investigate there first too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, let's go down to the sub basement. We'll have you hide by yourself, and then we'll, we'll all the three yeah. of us. Think about it. The three of us searching will find you faster. Exactly. So fast. Yeah. We'll find you just instantly. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, okay. Let's go. While we're going, let's yeah. have him behind too. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make sure you're the last one in line. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And we're ready. Just don't Evan, please. <laughs> 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 I think he should go down first and hide, right? And then we'll come down. After. No. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go down with Evan. Brandon, for once, I agree with you. Yeah, huh? bro, I can't go by myself. Huh? Evan can come with me. All right, me, Evan right? will come down until you get to your hiding spot, and then he'll come up here. No. Yeah. Evan, no. Yeah. Dog. There is no way. <laughs> See, and you Wait guys want second. me to go sit in the chair what room and walk the whole prison? Well, you're a big kid. No. 
I'm new to this. Yeah, Evan Evan has to come up here with us. Otherwise, how are we going to know it's five minutes? And how is he going to know we're not like blindfolded? And I cheating? can't exactly. be down there. Yeah, you, can, you can do it. Go down there. Well, Evan's, you're not going to be by yourself. Evan's going to go with Evan's you. Evan's going to go with you and then up. just sit in your little spot. With it, a flashlight on. No. No, no, no. no we'll music. find you. We'll, be able to, we'll see the light through the blindfold. Thank we you. all can walk down there together. Well, no, because no, then we'll know where you are. Come on, Corey. That's how we did every single round. You're fine. You're good. You just hear a noise down there? Come on, Corey. Gentlemen? I I don't know if I can do this. I don't. Dog. I actually don't know if I can. Do Look, this. It's right there. Oh, with the ghost? <laughs> Dude, I can't do this. Just sit right there. We'll be down in two minutes. Just crouch down. All right. Dog. A little bit of time. We'll get you so fast. But don't clap too. Don't make it too easy on us though. We'll give you like 20 seconds, then we'll come down. There's so many people, so. But really, like, don't make it too easy, because then it like ruins it, you know? <laughs> Use a flashlight. Care. That does not sound. They're gonna leave me here, and they're gonna make me go find them. Oh. <laughs> so close it halfway. We'll close it halfway. They're not gonna come look at me. Hi, Corey, we're coming! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I would never do this to somebody. Either way, I'm leaving my f flashlight on. I don't care. But this is kind of nice. This is really <laughs> Dude, this is, this is messed up. <laughs> this, is, this is really messed up. <laughs> <laughs> this is really messed up. Oh my god. Wait, wait, what happens when he gets to that gate? It's like, he can't open it. No, he can't. We, we, didn't, we didn't lock it. We just no, no, like, if he tries to open it, and then he, if he finally opens that, he's gonna realize he has a second door that's shut, and then a third door that's shut. Can he get that thing out? Yeah, he could. I know what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. I know. And I am not stupid. Wait, is that it? No, no, shut your light off. Shut your light, shut your light. Yep, you can just suck my out. Yeah. Hell. And yeah, that's what you can do. Yep, they lock the door. They think it's funny. No, Elton. Oh, I know the gate's locked. I'm just chilling down here with Satan. I'm ready to come back up, though. I have my phone flashlight on. I'm about to get on Facebook. I'm going to post a status. Maybe message my Aunt Penny. I right, actually... <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, oh, we got them! Oh, we got them! We It was longer than five minutes. Huh? It was longer than five minutes. Dude. I won. No, Dude. no, no. I think. Wait a second. Look How'd you this. lock it? Look. With a lock. Look. It's a, we didn't lock it. As you knock him down the stairs. No. <laughs> there was no lock. Was that fun? Oh, uh, we got a snack. Listen. Was that fun, guys? We got a snack. I don't know. I have a huge announcement. Uh, this was my last ever investigation. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even investigate yet. <laughs> I'm switching to bucket list videos. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, so had a fun little game of hide and clap. Oh, oh my God. God. Uh, you fun. know, but I think we- I didn't we... lose. I didn't lose for once. So we're going to do an investigation, a really thorough one. We're going to break into groups. So let's do a group one right now. Okay. okay. This is where you uh, show us the EVP. Yeah. And so we know there's something very, very audible here. Yeah. Um, Somebody said library. Yeah. So Clear. let's go into the actual death room. Okay. If anyone doesn't know, we're in the infirmary. So when people got sick or ill, they came here. And more specifically, when they died, their bodies were stored in the death room, hence the name. So if anybody's going to be talking, it's going to be in there. Yeah, so let's set up, let's do a group session. Yeah. Let's see what we're in for, and then let's break up into different yeah. little sections all throughout this entire place and maximize our time here. Oh, that yeah. sounds great. All right, let's do it. Sounds fantastic. All right, all right.
Dude. What the heck? So hundreds of dead bodies have been in here. Alright. Oh my god. This is it? Should we this is where we should probably not sit in there just in case like you know something is here. This is where the sword is this where the sword? It's freezing. Set that up, please. And that too. Very interesting time. Now we're just gonna do this. Did you just hear that? What did you hear? You didn't hear those footsteps behind that? Evan, yeah, did you hear footsteps? Yeah, I need light. I need light. And it's you? Sorry. Want me to turn this on right now? What? No, not yet. Okay. Are um, we doing spirit box now? Are we also doing a headphone to the spirit box? Yeah, no, we're going to go right to the headphone to the now. Okay. Alright, so let's all do a group session in here. Look, yeah. already. Not even kidding. Oh, sh. Already oh. turned. <gasps> oh, three. Dude. That, that chair might be in here for a reason. You hear the spirit box just turn itself on? Did, did it just turn itself on? The spirit box what? just turned itself on. This quick? Oh no, it cranked the volume up. And look, dude. I mean, that chair must be in here for a reason, and this is the death room. Okay, should I turn this that off and on again, or what do you think? I mean, should we restart it? Let's restart it. Now. Okay, yeah. What? There's no way. I don't was I have I have do you want to turn on all the equipment or just a couple? Let's do this real quick. Let's use this guy. What happens if... And then I say let's do a spirit box session, but our way. Just point that at the chair yeah. and see what's yeah. happening. I will. That was insane. It's turning the volume up. It should be completely muted. All right, so nothing. No, nothing. Nothing? And you guys, boom, red. Okay. You gotta be really close to that. Look at that. Okay? Okay. Is that your chair? Wait, did you sit down on the chair? Is that why it went off earlier? If this is your chair, you can tell us. That was freaky that I did that just. Right off the bat. You got it? Yeah. Okay. If that's your chair, you can sit in it so we don't. I'm going to sit in it 10 seconds if you don't. Oh, sh dude, it's loud. You want to sit in the chair? One. One. And I just said, Hi. Like 10. And now. If that was exactly 10 seconds backwards. I feel like it was. Did you say 10? I said yeah. I'm gonna count down from 10. Oh, and he oh, goes oh. one. Should he sit in the chair? Yeah, to piss it off. Here, to piss it off. Sit in the chair. What? Sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. Did that just go off? No, I, I was me, I picked it up. Okay, I need a but uh, I don't know if sitting in this chair is a good thing though. I think it is. It is. Did it go off? No. No, 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 just when you picked it up. This is so loud, I can't hear you guys at all. All right, throw them back on. Let's get started, dude. Keep the uh, put the headphones in. Put don't point the antenna nor near that might be Okay. 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 All right. Well then, do I need? I need like something. I just close your eyes. Are you mad that he's sitting in your chair? <gasps> dude. Make it beep if you want him to stand up from your chair. Can you use the spirit box that our friend's listening to? To say your name. Help me see. We can help you see, but we'd like to know your name. I swear. What is your name? Is one of your friends... We come with one. Is one of your friends coming to join us? Celebration. Is Worry. Some, is someone coming in here? We'll need more time. We have more time. 
What do we need more time for? <gasps> what the f What the f Did you get that? Did you just Affect you. Affect you? I heard it. That kid too makes a noise. Yeah, I heard this, that. It's very... By name. We would like to call you by name, but what is your name? You are. Are you are you afraid to join us in this room? Come back. I don't think he wants to come in here with us. I think we might have scared him out. It was going off like crazy and all of us come in with all our gear and our cameras and, and maybe that's him leaving. Holy. Is this him going to church? Holy? Maybe he's on his way up to the chapel. Devil. That's your territory. Is, are you calling this place? Laughing. Is this place what you call the devil? Interest. Do you want to talk to us? I think we came in too aggressively. I think so. I think we broke all the rules and we just flooded a small space. I think that's what and just jammed our tools in it and we just made a huge misstep. Mm -hmm. It sounds like whoever was in here left. Share. We kind of made a rookie mistake right now. Yeah. We know, but we'd know better than that to just all power and. Uh, you can't do that. <gasps> you can't do that. The nose. Do you want us to get out of this room? <gasps> Look at that too. Look at Did you just see that? Look. Cleaned. Cleaned. Make this K2 go off again. If you're trying to communicate with us. Crisis. <gasps> Bro, there is something. Side. I mean, right there. Right there. Wait, Where is oh. it? Oh my god. Oh, we've heard no noises the entire time we've been here. That is someone walking by. Somebody. That was the exact same time I said I somebody. I heard that. On to the next. Because I went to say something and then I changed it to somebody. Who's walking out there? Young. Is it a kid? Oh my god. Do you want us to leave the room? Down. Down. You want us to go downstairs? Can you say the name of the room you want us to go to? It's all very static -y. I haven't heard one thing. Maybe they left. What? Dude, I seriously think we came in too hot in this little I room. I used to know. It sounds like you're just singing Gautier. Yeah. I, dude, I, I couldn't hear anything. Dude, that was loud out here. There's a lot of voices out there. Everything stopped in here and went out there. What do you mean? Like, the, that didn't go off, the K2 started to flicker and got less, you started hearing less things. Yeah. And the less that happened in here, the more that happened out there. What did you guys hear though? And then I asked, do you want us to go somewhere else? And you said, down. And you said somebody at the exact same time I did. And I wasn't even asking a question. So you don't think anything's in here anymore? I, uh -huh. I think we came in too aggressively. Uh -huh. Oh, you think so? I think we just came, I mean, look, look how we came in. Okay. And it is it's like a closet. What did you get? Like, Dude, there was something there? really loud out there. Like, we were down there, we have walked it, we played hide and clap there, and yeah. we never heard anything. Over in the cells? 
It sounds no, like it's right where we outside. walked in, like the, the, the stairwell to the... Should, should we go over there? I think we should just split up. We shouldn't oh, all go anywhere. Yeah, we just saying we should split up right now? Yeah. After hearing that? We, we, because here's the thing, I think we have too many people in here right now. If it was just you, if it was just one of us in the room, I think it it wouldn't be so crazy for it, you know? Okay, so you think- But when there's five of us in- Did you just hear that? Dude, are you I think we just have too many people in yo, one yo, little spot. Yo, 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 Oh. Oh my god. Great as I'm saying, we should split up. I think, I think that's what it wants. And this was off when that happened. Oh no. Is that why you just made this device go off that I'm holding? You want us to split up? Do you think that we should separate and go into smaller groups? That was weird. Okay. Dude, we haven't had a K2 go off like that. No. No, that was flickering too. That was... I mean, the K2 Dude, didn't even go off almost at all the last no. investigation. Dude, when I was on my knee, it was like... I heard it like right next to my head. I heard it just going off. Yeah. The loudest one. That. Did it sound like somebody was like punching something, or does it sound like you said somebody fell? Did you see that? No, there's people talking. There's no one else. Shh, shh, shh. Fuck. I heard it. that. I heard it. No, Elton, I just heard someone talking. And a door slammed. It's in the room with us. It's behind the fucking gate, dog. You Gate dog. You hear that? It's right over there. <gasps> Dude, are you serious? Look. Oh, we left the infrared camera because it's charging. That was loud. No, was Two times in a row. I'm gonna walk towards you if you can make this device spike. That way I'll know which direction to go. was the loudest. It's right there. Shh, it's right there. Wait, what's the, is that something we left? Oh my God. Okay, well that explains that one, but we heard something out there. What was the bang? I don't know. Yeah, that's not what we heard. Uh, am I setting this down? Yeah, I'm setting it down. Elton. Yes? Jesus. I think we should just cancel this whole video. Comment down below. I guess it's too late at that point. Comment down below, yeah. God, we gotta cancel this one, dude. Dude, people watch you because they won't do what you will do. I, except for the three people that are gonna be a part of that contest with Corey hey. and Elton. Hey. Uh, Alright, so it's gonna take us probably three minutes to get Corey to his spot, so we'll put 18 minutes on the clock. 18 minutes? I know, it's actually a lot of time. That's so long, dude. That's a long time, yeah. When we were in Eloise, you were there for five minutes. Did you put your timer on? Uh, 18 minutes. Okay, oh, wait, I'm gonna put a timer on so I know when the 18 minutes. Actually, wait till the 18 minutes are over. To leave this room? Yes. To, I, do you think I'm, I can stay in this room for Yes. We gotta go. We yes, gotta go. We have to. Wait, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Make it 15. Seriously, make it 15. Go. Set it right now. Yep. Hi, Brandon. Later, skater. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, this is definitely. This is the worst thing I had to do, being with Elton. My whole body has chills right now. I can't. This is this is rough. I'm just gonna keep talking because if I stop talking with him, I'm gonna hear something, and I'm gonna lose it. I really lose it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'll be all the way down and up right now. Uh, is camera on? Yeah. Okay, for the record, the reason why we're rushing is we actually have to be out early because with COVID, a 
Ohio, Sorry. Ohio made a deadline, so we have to be out of here by a certain time. We're finding stuff and it's making us run late. If there's anybody here with me, can you please touch the red pod? Oh, this is it, yeah. Oh, dude, it's freezing in here. Here's what I want to do. I want to close this door. Why? Because then there's no chance. Look, it's even bungeed shut. So then there's no chance. Your KT just went out all your phones next to it. So that way there's no chance of us seeing someone walk in. Because if they walked in, they'd have to either go through the door or open the door. But what if it shuts and it doesn't reopen? That's a good point. That might be why it's Alright, so there's no way that door closes. All right, I'm just gonna show. No, I won't, I won't, but I wanna turn these lights on to show everyone this is the room. We're going all the way back there. Okay, here's the cell. Well, hi, sir, uh, inmate James Lockhart. His name is Lockhart. He, uh, number 13. Number 13 after he was off of parole, or they said he couldn't have parole, he basically got lighter fluid, went into the cell, put the lighter fluid on himself, and lit himself on fire. This guy was a kid too, this was back in the reformatory, so this is not like a prisoner. This guy actually felt like he could get out. Oh, okay, I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna set this up over here. Dude, we were playing hide and clap in here. I don't know. And you on one side heard something, and then I simultaneously heard something on the opposite side. Okay. So now we have this. Basically, if anything knocks out the light right there, we'll know that something is in here with us. I have a K2 sensor, so this is going to be able to get the uh, EM, EMF, I believe. And now we also have, put this up together, spirit box. So I'm going to ask. Hopefully James Lockhart some questions and uh, maybe he'll answer. Do you think I should sit in the chair? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Alright, I'll keep this. I'm gonna keep this K2 right here just in case. If you're okay with me being in here and you want to communicate with us tonight, can you please make the red hot beep? Is there somebody in here with me? James, are you here? Did you hear that? No. And the stories of this room in particular. He said this is the only room he raised a six. A six. He raised this room a six? He's, yeah, he said he's been here since 91, and he raised all the rooms out of five. He gave this one a six in terms of activity. So this activity. is the most haunted room I've been This is the most active room. James, if you're here, why did you light yourself on fire? What 
really say. It sounded like, who are you with? I'm with Evan. Yeah, we have a camera on. He said, uh huh. Oh my god. I gotta stop it. I have to stop it. I'm literally shaking right now. Oh, and I still have to go find Corbin. Oh my god, dude. Is there anyone in here with us? I'm gonna start the EVP in a second. Okay. I'm gonna set this a little bit further oh, away from us. Oh, that just went off. and just give the EVP a chance. We haven't done that in a while. Should I turn my one off? Yeah. Yeah. Right now it's 10.4 degrees Celsius and everything is blue. Okay. Uh, if there's anyone in here, can you give us some form of a sign? We know there's no wind in here, or any elements at all, so if we hear anything, we know it'll be you. You can put in the slightest effort, and we'll know. I didn't want to be left in this room alone by myself at all, let alone for 15 minutes. And then I have to go find... I have to search through the prison by myself to go find Corbin. Do you think you could have turned your life around? Yeah. What was the crime that you committed? Dude, it's so, every once in a while it's so clear. Oh. We have been told that, did you get, oh, right before you started talking. You hear that? I know whistling or singing. There's no way it's wind. It sounds like a flute. Doesn't it sound like a flute? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna keep talking. I'm just gonna keep talking. I'm gonna keep talking. Uh, la, la, la. So you should know how to use them. If there is anyone in this room with us, can you please cross the room?
Did you Did die, you die here? here? We were told that this place is where the prison was over capacity. They would bring everyone up here, whether it was scoldering hot or freezing cold. And that many people did, in fact, die up here. Is that true? Can you please point these rods in the direction of where you are? Alright, James, I'm gonna turn off the spirit box just so I can listen to you. I definitely was hearing some, I don't know what, but to my way, some things. Yeah. Dude, that was kind of crazy. I mean, there was some really clear stuff in that. I almost don't want to go out there because I was here. I know you were hearing some stuff too. Over here. here. I'll put this over here. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Evan. You know what? No matter what, it's better than being in that freaking chair room with Brandon without you here. Just heard something walking on the marble floor. It sounded kind of far, but on the same floor as me. Oh my god, I just need six more minutes. Six more minutes. Uh, maybe set the laser down the hallway? Oh my god. See, you heard that, right? Are you serious? Can you see me? No. Okay. We're putting this down the hallway, so... I feel like... I don't even think the, uh, the camera can't pick it up. Camera can't pick it up either? All right, then I'll just turn this off. We'll just go over there with the K2. Okay. Can you please, Can you please, please point, point these rods, rods in, the in the direction of where, of where you are? Can you please make, make these rods, rods go straight? straight? Can you straighten, Can you straighten the, rods the rods back out for me? There's no way to in 15 minutes. There is, there no, is way no way to in 15 minutes. Dude, there's, there's a light there. There, 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 there is no, no way to. You're talking about the left corner? Straight back like where the door is. Dude, right there. Do you see it, right? Yes, it was like a flashlight. Is it, going, is, it going, is it going in and out for you? Dude, there is a no way, way it's in 15 minutes. That can't be Brandon or Corbin. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. I'm not even here. Back down now. After I got out of the chair, it's down. Oh. oh my fuck! 
I wish everyone was in here with me. Fuck me. Give me a sign that you're here. Did you leave? Did you go out of the cell? Why is there a light flashing? Is it our is eyes, it our eyes with us? No, dude. Dude, I'm telling like, no, you. No, I see it. No, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing this on purpose so there's no other ambient light. Dude, there is a light. No, I just saw shit. Remember when I said I wanted to close the door? I just saw shit. Oh my god, I can see something moving. You're in here. here. We're gonna stay We're right, stay here. right here. I can actually see something. We have, we have devices here that'll let us know when you get close. Kidding me? Fifty three seconds. Please. I need to shut this off. We don't have we much, don't have time, much here. time here. The light is allowed to the top left. We'd really We'd love, really to, be love to, to be able to meet you. Before we have, before to, we go. have to go. We will come we back. Will come back. But we'd love but to, we'd be, love able to, to be able to say hello to you tonight. Don't want to, Don't be, want rude. to be rude. But if I need, if to, I be, need to be, I have no problem, have no doing, problem it. doing it. Cardboard cut out right there. Scared the absolute shit out of me. All right, I need to go. I need to go. Fuck, I can't see anything. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my god. All right, I'm in the chapel. I am like in fucking panic mode. Fuck. Oh. I'm gonna go try this side. I can't see. Corbin, I'm coming for you. I've heard that you heard scratch, that scratch people, people in here. here. Only two. Only two. Back, back on, on. And, I'll and I'll be able to see you clear as day right in front of me. Oh, I can see the moving. The only, only scratch, scratch two people, people. Out, of the out of the thousands, thousands that, have been, that have been here. It's not a good, not ratio. A good ratio. That way's closed off too. Corbin! No, dude. Everything, everywhere I try to go. I really think, I really think there's something that's in the sky or in the doorway. I just told you. We know there's no light in there. We know there's no light in there. Been there. The exit signs, the exit signs are red. Been here for hours. hours. No, we would know if it was a light out there. Light out there. It's completely black. Just one way. Just one way. That is not. That is not a consistent light. light. Holy, Holy shit. shit! It's right there. It's right there. What is? What is? Melting. Melting. What do you see? What do you see? There's this red floating at the top point, and then it just, and went, then it down just went down to 8.9 C. And now it's 
And now it's back in. Oh, my God. 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 Out of my pocket. What? There was something in a cell when I looked over right there. I thought it was one of you guys messing with me. Evan, come out, come out. Holy come out. dude, that was the worst 15 to 18 minutes of my life. There was something in the cell? Yes. Alright, let me get this stuff. Dude, that was awful. That was so bad. Really? Dude, oh. the. Yeah, there's been something down there. He's been hearing that multiple times down there. All right, well, let's go get Elton. That's consistent too. All right, let's go. Let's get. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Dude, that room Jesus. was so f***ing creepy. I couldn't imagine being there alone. But the, some of the stuff that we picked up on here was actually pretty crazy. I don't know, man. This is. Dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Dude. Holy. Shit. What's it been like up here? Yeah, Watch out, yeah. It's Join the three of us. Uh, there should be only two of them coming directly to this three of you. Yeah, it's just me. Dude, this has been rough. Oh, it's been really rough. Look how close they have to get for it to go ahead. Oh, wow. What do you see? That was all cool. Dude, I did a spear box session and I was like, there's gotta be stuff that viewers hear, because there was a lot of stuff that I was just like, excuse me, like did you say We that? didn't need to do anything at all, we just had to sit here. You guys I, didn't say anything? I literally had to just keep talking to myself, because I, I you, Did you leave early? Did you quit early? I did not. So I, I wanted to- So it wasn't him, it wasn't Brandon then. I almost did. So like, it wasn't Brandon then, I had, to check my, I had to check my phone to see what time it was to make sure it wasn't possibly you. So, there was a light at the door for like five, 10 minutes. What? And it would just turn on what? and off. Hold on, on let's off. check it out. Evan, come sit over here and crush your light. You guys, look, you see how it's all black? Dude, look how dark it is, Elton. Okay, keep in mind how black it is. Yeah. And there are no, I checked, there are no lights out there. Watch. Just sit and wait. It's the bizarre. door. The door will light up. Did you guys ask me a question? Look, you see it? Where? Watch, bro, you're gonna see a light in the door. But did you say you just saw it? There it is, see? Where? Just look straight back toward the door. Crush your lights, whatever you have. I, I'm not sure this That's fine. Just do that. Just look straight back at the door. Just look straight back at the door and you're gonna see like a little light and it's just gonna move a little bit closer and closer. If you're down there at the end of the hall, could you make it bright again? Could you shine your light showing us? Do you see it? What the f is that? Do you see it? What? Look! What? You see that? Dude, there's no strobe lights out there. There's no, it's very inconsistent. See? What the f is going on? Evan, can you see it? No. Oh! Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. I saw something cross. Right there. Look, this is what it's been doing. All right, so our three friends just came in here. If any of them brought anything in here with them, maybe some spirits from another room, could you please make the rods point at them? Evan, I'll trade you so we can just sit in the, okay. the dark. Look, look, look. It said Corbin and Evan brought something in here. Wait, Evan, were you filming with Corbin? Yeah. Oh my God. No. Dude, so something came from the jail cell. If anything, it was, and it's the, it's James. It's the guy that uh, burned himself, on, lit himself on fire. James? James Lockhart. If you're in here with us, we have to leave really soon, but we really want to talk to you. Can you please touch that device up there with the blue dot? If you grab the antenna, it'll let us know that you're in here with us. That's crazy.
crazy. Now that light's gone. I know. Whoever just followed uh, Corbin and Evan in here with them, could you please grab that antenna over there and make that device go off so we know that we are communicating with you? Did you follow me? I heard the whistle again. Me and Elton were hearing whistling. I really hope my eyes are not messing with me because I just saw it. Just zoom. Oh, look. You see the door, right? Yeah. What the Elton, can the camera get that? <gasps> Elton, can the camera get that? Oh! Holy oh, Holy sh Did you just see that? There's no way. I can't, I can't I see, see it. it. Dude, it's like there's someone, there was someone standing and then they moved to the side and the light went away with them. I can't see that far. I literally, yeah, I watched somebody oh. walk right across the doorway. Dude, there. I'm legitimately on the edge of my seat right now. Like, I am Oh, ready. I got chills, bro. I'm Holy ready to shit, dude. But the thing is, I don't want to run. That's the only exit. That's our only exit. Well, here's yeah, the issue. Light switches too. Here's what? the issue. We actually have to go. Right now? Yeah. Dude, there's literally Dude. something in the doorway. Oh, and we don't really like the investigation. We literally we have to leave by a certain time. It's, okay, it's okay. the law. All right, all right, so. all right, all right. Then we, we should get some lights on or something. What do we do? Um, one last question. We should say bro. yeah. We should say goodbye too. Yes, yeah, so we should ask one last question and say goodbye. All right, you want to say a question? If there is anything in here with us, this is your last and final chance to show us. Give us a sign that you are in here with us. We will be leaving after this. Touch that device on the middle of the floor to say goodbye. If you make that beep, we'll leave right now. We have to go. We have to get the okay. okay. Can yeah. you uh, turn the light on? Yeah, guys, we have to. Well, first off, before we even talk about what the three of us saw, I have to explain, like, the reason why we were rushing was we scheduled this a few weeks ago, yeah. and this is the COVID pandemic when we are in right now. I'm assuming when the video comes out. And they emailed me. We're supposed to be here until 4 in the morning. And they emailed me a couple days ago. I'm like, hey, we have to cancel. Ohio is shutting down at 10 p.m. And I was like, can we just come earlier and be done by then? So we still started at the same time, but we had literally six hours less time here. Yeah. And they clearly told us they need to be home. Like they're, they're taking this very seriously, as are we. We got a lot in those six hours though. So, <laughs> yeah. so we Jeez. had to respect that. And that's the reason why we're rushing is we actually need to be out of the gate in like four minutes. Yeah. Um, so apologies if this video seemed rushed and we didn't oh. take our time. That is the reason why we wanted to make sure we made this video happen. And yeah, I mean, I, I feel excited to come back. Yeah, yes. we need to. I feel we excited to, to come yeah. back oh and no, no games. We know the history now, yeah, so yeah, we don't yeah. need to spend time on the history. <clears throat> Next time we can just straight investigate, like just actually go facts. full force into it. Just come back in. You know. Oh, that's them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this so. was part one. It's time for part two. We <laughs> yeah. haven't even left yet. So we will come back when it's warmer Yeah. and when we have more time to properly do things. But we do appreciate you guys all watching. Okay, what happened with you? Dude, uh, so I I could hear things walking like in that. the rooms like that. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like you know, like everything's like thick marble, concrete, everything. I could hear people's like heavy footsteps like echoing in the other rooms and in the hallway. Christ. So I literally just kept talking loud so that I didn't have to hear it. And you know, it's, it's not us. No, no. Well, that's the thing. Scouts Honor, we never left our room. No, yeah, I'm assuming no, Scouts Honor. We, we were just in the cell the entire and time. So I sat in there for a few minutes and then I started asking questions. The REM pod goes off immediately. Oh my what? god. Yeah, the REM no. pod went off like two or three different times while I was in there. And like I literally, I kept moving farther away from it. By and yourself. it would go off. Yeah. Oh. And the only good thing about the REM pod going off was that I could almost see a little bit of the wall <laughs> in the room from the blue light. But that That's was funny. It was terrifying. I just literally kept talking because I just kept hearing things and hearing things. Yeah. And I had to get out. Yeah. Jesus.
Well, thank you guys for being here. Yeah, our thank you guys so much. Thank great you. guys. Appreciate and it. All right, we got. We can't go until you guys go. Oh, okay, okay. We'll, we'll get out of here. Yeah, we're. This is our last segment. Okay. Cool. Let's head out then. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Seriously. All right, let's get in the car. It was tough. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. We're excited to come back for sure. Yeah, definitely this come back when it's warmer. Oh, yeah. Will. This is the only place that we've seen so much. We need to come back. We've never been so excited time. to go back to prison. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good. Yeah. We definitely need a lot of time. We need to be reformed. <laughs> Whew.